mother recently lost the use of her legs and is now confined to a wheelchair. It's a simple low-tech solution to the problem of how to move around without legs, but it's also pretty limiting. She can't get everywhere she used to be able to in her house and garden, and there are many cupboards, shelves and appliances in her kitchen that she just can't reach. We can adapt the environment around her to be more wheelchair friendly, but how much more enabling would it be to provide a robotic exoskeleton to restore her mobility? The technology exists today, will it be mainstream and commonplace in 10 years time? I just heard about this amazing carbon capture device that's cheap to install, self-powered, self-repairing and can, t can continue to work for hundreds of years without requiring any maintenance. The captured carbon is used to build the structure of the device itself, but can also be harvested and used as a building material. Most amazing of all, the device can also create copies of itself that will self-install automatically. I have a few of these devices in my garden. Oak, ash and cherry and poplar. I know technological solutions to climate change can be expensive and money doesn't grow on trees, but acorns do. Want to block advertisers from beaming their adverts into your brain as you sleep? In a few years time, there'll be a strong market for tinfoil lined sleepwear. <laughs>